Hello everyone, I'm Tuhin Chakraborty and today I'd be talking about our project Don't Go Far Off, an empirical study on neural poetry translation. So Robert for us said, poetry is that which gets lost out of both prose and verse in translation. So why are we trying to solve the problem of poetry translation? So there is severe lack of open source multilingual parallel poetic corpora, as well as there are intrinsic complexities involved in preserving the semantic style and figurative nature of poetry. Finally, prior approaches in poetry translation mostly leveraged on rhyme or meter over faithfulness, which is really important. So what are the main takeaways from this project? We release parallel poetic corpora enabling translation across six different languages. We show multilingual fine tuning of pre-trained models on poetic text significantly outperforms multilingual fine tuning on non-poetic text that is 35x larger in size, both in terms of automatic and human evaluation metrics such as faithfulness. We also show that multilingual fine tuning on languages belonging to the same language family often leads to improvement over fine tuning on all languages. As you can see here in a Google Translate of a Russian poetry to its English counterpart, uh, the first example show that the sentence is translated incorrectly to lungs and wasps suck a heavy rose, whereas the goal translation is bees and wasps suck the heavy rose. So here it's a classic example of hallucination where a random word lungs is replaced in, instead of bees. So our contribution here is that we release 177k parallel lines of poetry across six language pairs, which is very decent in size. So what is our method? Our primary method relies on MBART, which is a sequence to sequence denoising autoencoder pre-trained on a large scale monolingual corpora in many languages using the BART objective. What is the BART objective? The BART objective is an objective where the input texts are noised by masking phrases and permuting sentences and a single transformer model is learned to recover those texts. So on the left side of the image, you can see the pre-training procedure of MBART. And once the model is pre-trained, then we can just like fine tune it on a given language pair for machine translation. So in our training setup, we are relying on both bilingual fine tuning as well as multilingual fine tuning. And in between these two fine tuning procedures, we experiment with different data settings. For bilingual fine tuning, we fine tune on both non-poetic data as well as poetic data. While as for multilingual fine tuning, we fine tune on non-poetic data, poetic data, as well as poetic data from same language family. The intuition for using poetic data from same language family is sometimes uh, languages which belong to the same language family share a lot of vocabulary between them. So empirically, this only benefits the results of the translation. So I'll give an example where uh, for a given Russian sentence here, the goal translation is, I love the lavish withering of nature. Uh, Non-poetic translation model gives, I love the splendor of nature's devotion. And the poetic model says, I love the luxury and decay of nature. So as we can see, the poetic model is so much more accurate while the non-poetic text kind of introduces hallucinations, such as splendor of nature's devotion, which is very different from the input source. We address the following challenges in our project. Firstly, there's a lack of available poetic data that makes it difficult to train a poetry translation system. By training models on our released poetic data, we show significantly improved performance over non-poetic data that is 35 times larger in size. We empirically show the benefits of multilingual fine tuning and uh, how it is beneficial to train a single model over several languages. In some cases, languages belonging to the same language family improve performance even more. Humans overwhelmingly prefer the poetic model, as you can see on the figure on the left, and automatic metrics also indicate higher quality of translations generated by the poetic model. Finally, regarding the broader impacts of our work, we introduce new tools for technological assistance for creative translation, simplifying the process for professionals to translate culturally significant text, including for low resource languages and language varieties and the corresponding cultures. Work is published as a full-length conference paper at one of the best NLP venues, letting people interested in our uh, poetry translation explore this field further. Our code and data and models are released uh, publicly promoting reproducibility. Overall, our work creates advances for both the technical NLP community and non-technical domain experts contributing to the spread and preservation of low resource languages and their cultures. Thank you very much for your attention and you can see the links to the paper and the GitHub repository on this slide.